actually these are, these are very mature questions because the Hindus believe in the law of karma. We believe that, okay, uh, the activity you do will in a way produce certain consequences that you have to bear. So we be believe in this idea that whatever we do is going to in a way affect our future. That's fair enough. And also we believe in the idea of ahimsa, means don't take life because life is precious. This is, if you like, the spirit bubbling up as in, in this creation. So don't snuff out life. Again, we agree with the idea of ahimsa. But it comes with a serious downside. Downside is this. You see, just by breathing, as, you, as the gentleman rightly points out, we kill billions of bacteria or organisms that enter our lungs. Either we destroy them, or our body will destroy them, or these bacteria will grow in our lungs and destroy us. Simple as that. So a issue arises, even if you are, say, a Jain monk, and you're wearing a mask over your face so that you don't swallow insects or kill insects, the bacteria are going to get through. Uh, the organism, this kind of microbes are going to get through for sure and they are going to, your body is going to destroy them for sure, guaranteed. So what's the solution? The solution is very simple. We have to be practical. Unfortunately, just by the process of breathing, we are stepping onto the life forms. The only thing we can say, this is if you like very much a Hindu take, is that we, for example, um, are perhaps the much greater manifestation of the spirit. So we are much more valuable. So we are putting a hierarchy saying human beings, men and women, etc. are the highest, if you like, manifestation of the spirit. So let it survive. Sometimes it happens, if you like, by stepping another life form. Let me another example. I'm a vegetarian. So if I'm a vegetarian, I'm still eating living things. So some people say, Mr. Lakhan, you don't eat meat. But I say, yes, I do eat vegetables. And that is you know, living another life. The only life on earth that does not live on other living things are, if you like, trees and plants. We can't be trees and plants. We evolved to this human stage. And unfortunately, this is the price we pay. We have to crunch and munch other living things. This is unfortunately the situation. Maybe in days to come, we might get, uh, uh, you know, chemicals we can live on. But for the moment, we are stepping on another life form. We have to live with it and recognize our limitation. That's the best way to, of responding to this. Free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.